Is sweet food spicy better than spicy food sweet? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Our new novel, The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek, comes out October 29th. Yes. But today, one month in advance, we are launching an amazing giveaway to celebrate what the book has in store for you. What? Not one, but two lucky winners, each with guests, will be treated to an all expenses paid trip to Los Angeles to join us and the mythical crew for a good old fashioned pig picking, just like we do back in North Carolina. Yes, the giveaway runs today through November 2nd, and all you need to do to enter is pre-order the book and submit your proof of purchase through our simple form at bleakcreek.com. Mm. Now, multiple entries for multiple books are allowed, and a ticket to the Bleak Creek Conversation shows or any previous pre-order counts as proof of purchase, so you can submit that too. Void where prohibited, no purchase necessary to enter, full rules are on the website. Thanks, and we hope mm. to see you around a pig. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. All right, today's episode is all about tongues. But before we get to that, let's take a moment to acknowledge Rhett's beard. I acknowledge your beard. Thank you. All right, now back to tongues. Your body's natural flavor flicker. Telling your brain what's right and wrong in this crazy, mixed up, taste filled world. It's how you've come to think of candy as sweet, yeah. habaneros as spicy, and pig anus as a little salty. But what if we took some well known foods and swapped the sweet with spicy and verse vicey? Will our fleshy food figure outers flip out, or will we bring a brand new culinary delight into this world? It's time for sweet food spicy versus spicy food sweet. Which is better? Won't know till we eat. A few weeks ago, we posted a series of sweet spicy food versus spicy sweet food matchups, and you voted on which you thought we would like better. And now we're gonna find out if you were right. And the prize or punishment at stake is for you. You're gonna get a point for each round the majority of you guessed correctly, and if you get three or more points, we'll give you personal shout outs to as many of you as possible in Good Mythical More. Mm -hmm. But if you don't get three right, we're going to post a photo of us holding a loser potato to our Instagram, and every one of you must post a sad face emoji on that potato because you need to be identified as a loser potato that you are. College is a time of cheap eats, wild, unabashed experimentation, Oh, and education. So in the name of learning, let's mix up the iconic college food, spicy ramen, with Link's favorite cereal, Frosted Mini Wheats. Man, and are we gonna come out on the other side of this, me not liking ramen or Frosted Mini Wheats? Uh, well, no, Dang. you just might not like sweet ones and spicy ones. Okay, <laughs> so Josh, how did you make this sweet ramen sweet? So the sweet ramen is simply uh, boiled in Swiss Miss hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's step right two? Right your dorm microwave. <laughs> yeah, some things, some things don't have enjoy. to be overcomplicated. I don't want to get too much of this off. So, of that's it. a nice reminder. I want it to be kind of dripping when it, right when it goes now, in my mouth. Now, when you eat the ramen, don't you use a spoon, brother? No, I use the bowl. <laughs> that's not pleasant. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's chocolate with noodles in it. No, you eating it's not oh. pleasant. <laughs> but that's nothing new. Um, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's just, and it get, as it gets colder, not, I mean the seasons, as it gets into winter, remember this. Uh, it's amazing how Whoa. there's nothing about the noodles that takes away from the chocolate good goodness. You know what I'm it saying? It adds more. Noodles are a canvas. And life is the paint, man. Well, the, in this case, the chocolate's the paint. But uh, <laughs> all, right, all right, let's have this some. This is uh, not going to be good. Spicy know. mini wheats. That is correct. So How'd you make them spicy? Just a simple uh, fiery cayenne glaze. So pretty similar to how they do it. Pour. Just with a little extra. Well, I'm just going to pour in this one because we might need to use this for the thumbnail. All right, so pour this. That's some thick milk. Is that yogurt? No, <laughs> no. just How did thick it get, milk. Did you shake it? Where's your spoon? Oh, this is your spoon. Yeah, you, now you got a. Yeah. I got a. The, the spoon was never intended for this. Have you watched people eat ramen before? Yeah, they use a spoon. No, that's like I think that's when you're like in an Italian restaurant <laughs> with the, with the pasta. I eat my, the, yeah, that's where I eat my ramen. Okay, I think you just proved yourself wrong. That is right. some thick milk, homie. All right, I'm gonna get two of these. Yeah, I usually eat two, and what I'll do is. This is kefir, right? They'll be. This is not good. <laughs> I don't know. Dig it. 
What? Now you're gonna eat it the link way. Ah! I'm gonna eat it. Ah! The I'm hey! Gonna eat it the hey! Way. No! No! The link, link way. You put the sugar up and then you turn it over in your mouth onto your tongue, which does absolutely nothing to change the taste that's in your mouth. It's happening. Frosted mini wheats is being ruined for me. I wouldn't say that this is bad, but I would, and I don't really like spicy things. But, but hold on. I don't know if I needed that level of spice added to that type of experience. Hold on now. I'm I held on for a while. Yeah. yeah there's no chance. It needs it, it needs something sweet. Now we got to see what the fans thought. So we are saying that the um, that the sweet ramen was amazing. Definitely but better. Did you agree? Did you predict? Well, it turns out that 62% of the mythical beasts thought you would like the sweet ramen better. Ah, you know it so well. Actually, 62 seems low for this choice. I'm very surprised that... The, the, well, they know I like the spicy stuff. I mean, it's like, I, I, I think, you know, you never know, and you never you, know until you try. That's why we're trying. I'm not disappointed. All right, let's scramble up 7-Eleven because we're flipping spicy pepper jack cheese and sweet, sweet Slurpees. Okay, so Somehow. on this side we've got the, the cheese that is no longer pepper jack cheese. What kind of cheese is it? Well, I'd call it jelly bean jack. It's sweet jack cheese. Uh, instead of you know red and green jalapenos, we got red and green jelly beans. This is a stretch. Let's look, Christmas cheese. That's the music video will come out Christmas with this year. Christmas cheese, <laughs> does it Christmas please? Christmas cheese, it does Christmas please. Uh, I don't like it. I don't know why you're, you love cheese so much that it's dumbing you down in this moment. It's rounding off all the what, edges. Where's what, the old ret? What about this the face ret that you can, is saying that I'm enjoying this? That you, what about this face right here? That's right, that's your, that's your that, at rest face, man. It's resting ret face. Um, to me, it's not so much that it's sweet that's the problem, it's the jelly beanness. Because I think you can put sweet things in cheese. Like, you know, I mean, like you get like a cranberry. Black cherry. Cheese, yeah, yeah, you can put blueberries in cheese. No, but you could put a craisin. Yeah, that's not crazy. Um, that's so I, I'm not that impressed. Crazy, I'm not, not that impressed. crazy. So uh, this is gonna be tough because I can't imagine that a spicy Slurpee is gonna be good either. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't gonna be good, drink it. Drink it. It tastes horrible. Even before the ice hits you. It's it hit took a long time to hit you. It hit me immediately. What, is that habanero? It's hit me yeah. in the goozle, man. It sure is. <laughs> yeah, it's very distinctly habanero. Uh, was it just purified habanero put into some ice? Oh man, yeah. you should be doing the cooking around here. <laughs> Stop, smi <laughs> Stop smiling, man, because I didn't think we were doing this on this show anymore. Uh, I prefer undoubtedly the Slurpee because <gasps> it's like, what do you call it when you just, <gasps> instead of taking something orally, you inject it. <laughs> what is that called? Intraven mainlining. Intravenous. This is like mainlining spiciness. Now don't, you shouldn't inject it into your arm. But like, <gasps> when you bite a pepper, it's kinda like, hmm, hmm. But when you take this, take this, the whole thing just immediately what coats are you your mouth. For? How is this not clear? The Slurpee, clearly. Oh, yeah. It's clear. All right, so did you predict this? Hold I on, bet you, you did. You also agree with it? You, you you gave a whole speech, I'm not gonna cross you on it. Okay, all right. Okay, so this one was even closer because 52% of the MBs thought that you would like the spicy Slurpee better. Uh, you did it! Yes. You did it! You're so smart. And now the raw round. We like our spicy tuna raw and our cookie dough even raw, but will we still like them when we swap that spicy and sweet? So we got sweet sushi. How's it sweet? Well, instead of mixing the tuna with uh, sriracha, we mix it with cream cheese frosting. Oh, uh, and then all the accoutrements are also sweet. Sweet soy, sweet sabi, and sweet ginger. Um, okay, so we gotta go all now, the way. Now, what here. about the black ring? Oh, that's just seaweed. Um, now, in oh, order man, to- the wasabi has in, in hardened. Order, in order to give this a fighting chance, I can't eat the seaweed. I just, that's the thing about sushi that I don't like. Just tongue it out from the middle. Just tongue it out from the middle, he says. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'll let the ginger be the, you know, the afterburner here. Get some of the sweet, uh, and get some of the uh, wasabi as well. Sweet wasabi and sweet soy. Is that not a, is that a piece of chewed gum? <laughs> you gotta use it with the chopsticks to get it because it's very hard. It's congealed a little bit. Whatever you did to it to make it sweet also made it a little congealed. Okay. Take I'm gonna it. tongue this out. I'm gonna go halvesies. 
I mean, some sushi has sweet junk all over it. Ponzu, whatnot. <laughs> yeah, but not this much. It's way too much for me. I need the sweetness to overcome the fact that I'm eating sushi. It's unsettling for me. I think anyone who likes sushi for sushi reasons is not going to be into that. I like it, but it does taste like a dessert. Say that like it's a bad thing. Yeah, I, I didn't approach it as a dessert sushi, but if you do, I think you'll like it. Spicy uh, cookie dough. Yeah, so it's chocolate chipless cookie dough, uh, no! which Link loves, and then ghost pepper, which uh, Link also loves. Ghost pepper. I, yes, get, just, get, just a skosh. So get, get a big bite, man. Get a big bite. I love the consistency. Oh, mm. this one sneaks up on you. Ooh. It's not even spicy. No, it sneaks up on you. It's not nearly as spicy as a Slurpee. I really oh, like it. Oh, this. oh, whoa. You're right. I'm freaking. You have it like a, you're like seven seconds behind. I got scared because you said ghost pepper. It wasn't nearly as hot as the previous round. This one's um, easy. It's it's palatable. I mean, I could fight for that, but I don't, I'm not going to. Were you guys correct? I thought this was awful. I thought this was great. 60% of the MBs thought you would like spicy cookie dough better. Yeah. You did it again. I recommend this. You guys are gonna get some shout outs and more. Ugh. Nashville hot chicken, Nashville hot chicken. Everybody's Nashville hot chicken and stuff. Even Panda freaking Express. Um, so we're gonna do it too, but we're gonna flip it with a McFlurry because that's a good chaser for some hot chicken. Okay, so we got sweet chicken. What's on What's on the bottom? It's an angel food cake instead of white bread. It looks like bad chicken, like something's turnt on it. Like, you There's know? still pickles though, nice touch. Yeah, sweet, sweet pickles. pickles. Are you yeah. sure this is not an episode of leaving things in? I'm not sure of anything anymore. Because it looks like this has been left in something, something wrong. It smells like a donut and I will say, I mean, you enjoy putting uh, chicken and waffles and syrup and hot sauce together. So this, so this is true. Seems like a shortcut. It actually is covered in donut glaze and then cinnamon sugar. So you're right. Good yeah. gosh. I'm gonna, I'm Did gonna go just straight chicken first. Man, what that's good. The freaking crap. <laughs> The things that happen on this show, I'm just, I just feel like it's a privilege to be here. Like, I just come, we come in and we sit down in this chair. We're like, oh yeah, that sounds like a crazy idea, I'll do it. And then we come, we sit down in this freaking this chair and we get served a new thing We're that should have been around forever. I think this has been around, but it hasn't been done like this. People have gotten to this combination of tastes in indirect ways by putting like chicken on it's the been, donut. It's been in, in, dangling in front of our faces the entire time. But just to go straight sweet on the chicken itself. Donut glazed fried chicken. Now I will tell you, you know what would make it perfect? Hot sauce on top of it. But yeah, we, this, yeah. Isn't, this isn't about sweet and spicy. This is sweet this, or spicy. This can't beat it. Well, I don't know. This is McFlurry. I mean, we just had, we've had some, We've had coldness. All right, so what makes this spicy? Well, so it's uh, jalapenos blended directly into the McFlurry, and then there's hot Cheetos and Takis on top. Okay, a little, dr hot little window dressing of hotness. That is odd. That is you know what? not bad. It's not bad, but this was life-changing, so. Hold on, but I don't wanna sell this short because this is actually freaking amazing. Yes, this is mind blowing. This is like a spicy ice cream, which uh, the Slurpee was horrible. This my favorite spicy sweet was um, was the cookie dough though. I think this is not as good as the cookie dough. Something about the jalapenos don't work as well as the ghost pepper. Josh, I'm not trying to kiss your butt, man, but you did a good job on this. Okay, uh, did you guys did you guys predict this? Seventy percent of the MBs thought you would like Nashville sweet chicken better. Four for four. You know us so well. Mm-hmm. All right, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Yo, I'm Alex. And I'm Zach. And we just did a spicy Korean noodle challenge. Hell yeah. And it's time to, <laughs> it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> Having fun in the kitchen. <laughs> I love it. Click the top link to watch us play Candy Crush in real life and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Look, feel, and smell your mythical best with our Mythical Grooming Collection available at mythical.com.